Hi, I'm Brian Richardson, candidate for the Delaware State Senate in the 21st District. Delaware does not have a spending problem. The Democrats in Dover have figured out how to spend their money just fine, and each year they continue to take more and more of our money to fund their irresponsible choices. However, Dover does have a tax problem. One only needs to look at Bloom Energy to truly understand that, when it comes to taxes, if we let the camel's nose under the tent, Pretty soon we're stuck, not only with the entire camel, but with the inevitable mess that comes with it. Jack Markell and the Democrats told us that we'd have a $1 monthly surcharge added to our utility bills to fund the Bloom Energy Project. Well, we're up to roughly $5 a month. It seems that once we allow state government to open the door to new taxes without first looking for opportunities to grow our economy and cut wasteful spending, those taxes are here to stay. And while our taxes only continue rising, the paychecks of working class families certainly are not. The state's transportation infrastructure fund was designed to help fix Delaware's aging roads and bridges. Yet each year the Democrats raid the fund to fill holes they have created in the state's budget, leaving less and less money to actually accomplish the job for which the fund was created. In return, the Democrats have proposed increasing the tax Delaware families pay on every gallon of gas by 10 cents to help recoup the, rec the rated funds. Simply put, they are robbing Peter to pay Paul. This is a tax that is both unnecessary and irresponsible. Had the Democrats been willing to make the tough choices they were elected to, this would not be an issue. The Democrats have also began to talk about a new tax on the water we use in our homes. In some states it's called a flush tax, but I simply call it another new Democrat tax increase. They've yet to, to tell us the price tag of this increase, but if Bloom Energy is any indication, it will be more than the Democrats are willing to admit. We can expect to see both the gasoline tax and the water tax when the legislature returns in January. The Democratic-controlled state legislature has been making irresponsible choices and failing to prioritize Delaware's best interests for far too long, with Delawareans picking up the tab. It's time to bring responsible leadership to Dover. It's time for change. Thank you.